Let me get it closer. Well, I dropped it. Anyway, but it was all wrinkled up, so I'm not gonna use it. Now, this is one of the reasons I save bacon grease, because instead of going out and buying some salt pork or what we call in South Carolina fatback, instead of doing that, I'm just gonna put a couple tablespoons of bacon grease down in my pot. So now I've got these all done. I'm gonna put them in my pot and I'm gonna take them over to the sink and rinse them real good, dumping out the water a couple of times. Then I'm gonna put them on the stove to boil, bring them to a hard rolling boil. Then I'm gonna put in some salt, some pepper, and my bacon grease. Put the lid on it and turn it off and let it sit there for an hour. After that hour, I'm going to stir it up real good and then I'll put it, the heat back on, on medium low and let them cook probably for another two to three hours and they'll be just like they had cooked all day in the crock pot. Now, if you cook them, if you soak them overnight, like I was saying, put them in some water, clean them, put them in some water, let them sit overnight, you can put them in the crock pot in the morning and let them cook all day and they will be perfect at night. You cook your cornbread. I'm gonna slice some onions and put the onions in some balsamic vinegar to soak. So we can use those with our beans and cornbread tonight as our, our meal. And I'll probably do a salad and um, I've actually got a head of cabbage. So we'll probably do beans and cabbage and cornbread for dinner tonight. Love you.